I was really excited when Corey, Carrie, and Brandon came to pick me up. We were on our way to Key West. This was going to be my first time going to Key West, if you can believe that. So I was really excited. Of course, it's still that time of the year. There was some weather in South Florida, and we took off in the rain. But Corey did a great job as we flew southwest, leaving some of the bad weather behind us. Carrie, who's a pilot from Trinidad and Tobago, came into town to fly with us, and we were having a great time with him. There were a lot of clouds at our altitude, and they were absolutely gorgeous. I love looking down to see the patterns of the shadows of the clouds. It makes everything much more interesting. Soon, we were out over the open water, leaving the mainland behind. We chose the open water route versus flying along the Keys today, but the views were so amazing. There were rain showers out here, we even saw a rainbow. Flying in the Keys have some of the most amazing views that you can ever see. As Corey and Carrie flew the approach into Key West, I got pretty excited because this was my first time. The drive to the Keys is pretty excruciating for me. I've flown into Marathon a lot, but never had the opportunity to fly into Key West. I never wanted to drive, so I was happy about this opportunity to fly in. I've heard so many things about this airport here in Key West, so I was actually happy to see it for the first time. Because Corey had to stop and pick me up, we were the last ones to get here. There was another group of pilots who flew down and got here before we did, and they were waiting for us in the lobby. We were all here to celebrate Tremaine's birthday, and we were all ready to get this party started. I was really happy to be here, and to be with these amazing group of pilots. There were so many of us, we had to order two Ubers. Our Uber driver was pretty cool. He did a great job as he drove us around. Our first destination was Louis' backyard. It was recommended by other pilots who've been here before. So we went to go check it out. This was a pretty cool restaurant with great outdoor seating. You had some indoor seating if you wanted to be inside, but the beachside views are incredible. You would want to sit outside. Your first time here? Third time. Third, okay. This restaurant was amazing. We got some drinks and chilled for a little bit. Corey even took the opportunity to go get his feet wet. This was a really cool spot to come hang out at. Soon, we were back in two Ubers and headed to our next destination, a restaurant we had heard about also, the Conk Republic. This was highly recommended, so we were all excited to be here. The restaurant is huge, and it was full. We heard that the food was good here, so we were excited to try it out. Perfect. 
birthday guy. It's his birthday. It's his birthday guy. It's a birthday bitch. It's a birthday bitch. I'm not going I'm not going I'm not going to call you that. Uh, I'm going to be different. He's a gentleman. So yeah, what we need to do is just all get together, pick him up and throw him in that water. Wow. Yeah, what? Please. Please. I want to sleep, man. Please. 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 Only y'all pay my bill on that okay. food in this coming is We had so much fun at the Conk Republic, but soon it was time to leave. We had to be wheels up to head back to Miami. When we got back to the Key West airport, Corey and Trey went to pre-flight, and me and the rest of the crew decided to go and check out the view across the street from the airport. It was amazing. We didn't stay long. We started to head back and had some fun. When I walk through, when I walk through, hey. trip, hey. hey, when I walk through, trip. Key West, I am here, Key West. When I walk through, we we're walking through the Key West airport, we walking through. What it do, what it do? Hey, hey! hey. hey. Key West on three. One, two, three, Key West! Hey. <laughs> Anybody know where we are? This is a, a trivia question. Take a picture and post it. When we got back to the airplanes, Corey and Trey were ready to go. Trey was flying the 172 SP and Corey was flying the RG. We all had a great time. We were saying our goodbyes now because even though we were going to be flying together, we had to separate when it was time to go to our own airports. We were going to Opalaca and they were going to Fort Lauderdale Executive. Zero two, Romeo, one, one, nine, quick takeoff. You said you're going northeast, is that correct? Okay, and it's following him, maintain visual, maintain visual, you'll be approximately uh, one, two, four, zero, two. late but the night flight was amazing i can't even begin to tell you how much fun it was flying with these guys it was so amazing 